The following is a paid preview for a game seeking funding on Kickstarter. The product seen here is a work in progress and subject to change during the duration of the project. Hi everyone, it's Ferdinand the Carpet Stacker, and I've been thinking there there are so many themes in board games that you know we have a lot of fantasy themes, even cat themes, but we don't have a lot of dogs themes. So for this Kickstarter preview, I have here A Dog's Life by Christopher Bollinger. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this game. The goal of the dog's life is to bury three bones. The way you find bones is looking in trash cans, by begging at local restaurants, or by getting rewarded by making newspaper deliveries. First, everyone selects a dog, getting their matching player board, dog figurine, deck of cards, and tokens. Then players start on a random den. Before embarking, each dog on their turn must spend a food. If they don't, they get sent to the dog shelter. Each dog is given a number of action points they can use in their turn and most of them are going to be used for movement and interacting with features on the board. Just about doing anything costs one action point, like moving to an adjacent space or going in and out of buildings can cost you one action. Dogs can sniff out trash cans to find food and sometimes get lucky by finding a bone. Then it gets covered with a trash can token to indicate it's empty. The board gets cleaned up when the last trash can is searched, clearing the tokens from the board. Dogs can also enter in restaurants and beg for food. When doing certain types of actions, the player needs to reveal the top card of the deck and see the result. Every dog is different, and some are better skilled in areas where other dogs aren't. Dogs can take a drink out of the fountain to fill up their bladder and piddle on lampposts. This blocks and ends other dogs' movement. The newspaper stand in the middle of the board can have your dog pick up newspapers and deliver them to specific buildings on the board. With a successful delivery, dogs are rewarded. Dogs can only hold up to two objects in their mouth, including newspapers and bones. If you're next to a dog, it can be attacked. Each player reveals a card on the top of their deck and see which dog has the higher attack. If the attacker wins, the defender drops all their items and moves back a space. If the defender wins, the attacker loses the rest of their turn. If there's a tie, nothing happens, and attacker may attack again if possible. At the end of the turn, the dog rolls for the dog patrol wagon. If it lands on the dog, it gets immediately captured and dogs in adjacent spaces need to check to see if they escape. Any caught dog is sent to the dog shelter space on top of the board. On their first turn, they reveal a card to check if they escaped. Then they reveal two on the second turn if they're still in the shelter and then the dog is let out on the third. If the escape is successful, it moves out to the shelter space and continue the turn as normal. If your dog has a bone, it's time to bury it. Your dog needs to travel back to the den and bury their bone. When your dog buries three bones, you win the game. Alright, so what do I think about a dog's life? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the pieces. These are really substantial. These are really great. Um, they're pre-painted. I don't know if the actual campaign has pre-painted miniatures, but if they do, I mean, this is a an almost a, a must get. I mean, they're they're pre painted and they also have like a little, you know, just a tiny bit of costume on them. Like, you know, this one has a hat. This one has a uh, aviation goggles. And I think the presentation and the production of this is quite really good. So in short, it is a quick and simple pickup delivery game. You just have to find your a bone to deliver to your den and then you score points for that so just finding it you can get that through many ways uh, the three main ways is either going through trash cans uh, you can get it through rewards or you can get through the restaurant for begging uh, the and some dogs are just out there just to attack other dogs uh, because that's their uh, special ability um, that they can they're, they're not special ability but more their specialized skill and that they have better attack than other dogs so they can steal so that's some dogs ability some of them can search trash cans better they could focus on that or some dogs can move really fast but they have to do that the uh, delivery system of the newspaper now the game's randomizing system are these decks the decks are all different they have their own algorithm some dogs more of course a focus as I said focus on trash cans or going to the restaurants and that um, it's I think it's pretty neat uh, the other way they could have done it was doing with you know different colored dice or dice with different settings on it uh, but the having your decks is kind of uh, just easier I think for just you just flipping the cards instead of rolling a dice and you can kind of like kind of tell your dog is like gonna 
find any more stuff or not. One of the coolest things about this game is that you get to be a dog. I mean, not a lot of games you get to be a dog like this. I mean, it's you are thematically it's, it works very well because you're going around. You're, <laughs> you're I guess you're a very smart dog just getting newspapers and dealing in to places that they say to deliver to. But it's kind of cool that way. I mean, yes, it's you know newspapers are kind of a common theme with dogs, and also that you know you get to dig through trash cans, bang in front of the restaurants, and of course. Um, piddle your way through to the lap post, but it's, it's kind of funny. It has that kind of humor in it, that dog humor, and I, I find it like refreshing because it's dog themes are not really utilized in uh, board gaming. So one of the things that art is not emphasized in the game a lot is that each of the dogs have their own bio. So, for example, the it's kind of cool. Like Daisy, for example, here's Daisy. Um, she has like an aviator goggles, and guess what her best skill is at delivery so but it, it's not really emphasized in in the way in the uh, rule book it does have it in there that if you read their kind of like their bio or their story it tells you what they're good at and what skill so unfortunately when we uh when we were first playing this we didn't know what to do we think like most of the dogs are just about the same level and then um, the ducks are just pretty much like a little boggle and just randomize of how they are but i think it's important to emphasize that the story in there about what the dogs are and what they can do best is very important to do for the most part i think the game is a family white game it's very light it's not a lot of rules to go and theming is great for that uh one of the things that's a caveat is that is that it's a little mean it can be a little mean and it can be mean in several different ways and there's mm, one of it is the patrol wagon patrol wagon because you can move it anywhere you roll the die and it moves anywhere so you can go ahead and move it through the city and capture other dogs and that's and well, I just hate going into the shelter and just waiting out a little, like three turns just to go. Some dogs are lucky to get that. Some dogs, some dogs aren't. But if you're a dog that's not very good escaping, then it's going to just bog you down. And you just don't want to, you know, it just gets really boring after that. The other one is attacking. We didn't see a much, I didn't see a much, a lot of t attacking because most dogs, um, <laughs> one of the things you're going to do is just go ahead and uh, deliver those newspapers and hopefully for the best but um few of the dogs are more attack ready and that they can just steal newspapers left and right uh, and that's what they do so i kind of like push that aside hopefully people don't play with those um with that kind of character and i don't know i just don't like uh, for a family theme game it could be a little mean that's what i'm just saying you can turn it up a little bit but um Maybe the people I'm playing with was a little over analytic of all the things, but it's just move, go to the place, uh, search trash cans, or go pick up delivery. Uh, but yeah, it's it plays about the, about an hour, I would think. Uh, that's a little too long. The box is 60 minutes, so it's it is an hour. I think it, it should be played less. I don't know why it does play like an hour. Uh, I guess there's a lot of movement. Your dogs get a lot of movement in the game. I mean, and that's could take a lot of time and since there is a lot of movement it's hard to keep track of that sometimes because it's some of them have nine action points they they can go to moving around they have to count it out see what they're going to do and like oh maybe i should go left or right or something like that or calculating where the patrol wagon goes like oh, i'm gonna roll this maybe i'll go left or right i think people just overanalyze things i, I just play it really fast but everyone else just have to really <laughs> overanalyze it so at the end of all of this, I just like to say that it's still a really cool game. I mean, you get to be a dog, one of six dogs actually. I think there's more coming uh, as time goes by. But the the dogs are painted. Uh, you get an accessory. I mean, the painting with an accessory. That thing that makes it really cute. Uh, it's a family style pickup delivery game. It's very simple, uh, very low in the rules. Uh, it does have a little bite to it, but uh, it's it's good to know before going. Um, and yeah, so go ahead and check that out. That is on Kickstarter. I am giving this my excellent rating, which means it deserves my crowdfunding recommendation award. All right, so go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on board and card games.
This is the Cardboard Stacker, and remember to keep on stacking games.